if you want the time you know, score going from 18 to 8. And eight some shots. Mm -hmm. so, you know, if you probably up until that last two minutes of the game, you probably up until about 20 percent from the three point line. You know, when when the game's over, guys can launch shots and make them. Now we lost somebody once in transition. I think Malik Smith lost number 10 one time. He made a big one, but 35 made them off off one foot. He, and that stuff. But um, uh, we we needed to DJ is right. We needed to defend all the way to the end of the game. And that's part of a learning process for our young guys. Because I stuck those guys in there, so. Norm, I, I know that you believe the success of this team is a lot based on its depth. But when you play a team like the Duke, do you need your best players to step up? Yeah, yeah. Your best players need to play well. They need to play well. And our guys will. But, you know, the biggest thing with Duke is, is uh, you have to compete. You have to compete. On every single play, uh, you have to compete with them. And if you don't, then, then you'll get beat. And... Uh, so we got to come in, we got to compete when we have opportunities, we got to take advantage of those opportunities. And, you know, we got to limit their easy opportunities. We don't give them easy baskets. Turnovers have been an issue for you guys the last few games. I mean, is this, is, is this becoming a big concern, particularly well, with that game? Then? Well, I think we're turning over in, in, in a lot of situations. We're turning over because we're trying to be unselfish, but it's just bad timing and throwing passes to guys in bad situations and bad spots and, and that stuff. So we just got to we gotta tighten that up and, and get better there and make sure we're getting guys in position where they can be successful. But we're doing a lot of passing to guys two feet next to us and, and those things. So we got to do a better job of that. Because I don't think the turnovers are really not turnovers that are really being forced. They're really unforced. It's our, our mistake, our silly pass, our silly angle of the pass. So we've got to improve that. Isn't that worse? Yeah, it is worse. So I'm not that happy about it. With, with a game like Duke coming up, what do you say to players like Pat or Justin who have both been struggling where they to get their confidence up? Ball up. Ball up. Just play. That's it. There ain't nothing else you can say. Just play. Nothing's going to change what's going on. You just got to ball up, play, be aggressive. Those things. Do you have a theory about what's going on with Paris? No, I just think he's going to shoot himself out of it. He'll get out of it. Happens to every player. He wants to do well so bad, some shots aren't going for him. So he's probably thinking about it every time he shoots and that stuff. So he's just got to forget all that and let it go. Just play, you know. So he'll do that. He'll Coach, do that. how did you uh, keep your team focused, especially with Duke on the horizon? You know, throughout the week, what did you do to make sure the team – Never talked about it. Never talked about it the whole time, just like we never talked about Temple when we played Siena. You know, we never talked about anything when we played, you know, St. Bonaventures. We never talked about Brown. We, we, didn't, we didn't do any of that. So we just focus on the one game at hand, you know, and we talk about that game. We go over that game. We show them our good points, our bad points, and then we move on to the next game. Hopefully we don't make some of the same mistakes. No, just kind of like the scheduling thing, if you will, between now and tip-off. Like, you're going to practice tomorrow. What, what's your... Yeah, we'll practice tomorrow. And then we'll uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Then we'll leave Friday. We'll practice down there on Friday at two o'clock, two to four, and then we'll shoot around in uh, Cameron seven to eight on Friday night. So you won't practice in Cameron in the afternoon? <clears throat> no, we can't get in. We got to be in the practice facility. <clears throat> but you'll shoot there from seven to eight. No, looking at, I mean, you're six and zero here. How would you describe this opportunity that you guys have on Saturday? Uh, we, we talked about that a little bit in the locker room. We said it's a great opportunity. But, you know, it, it comes back to making the best of that opportunity and going out and just lay, laying it all down on the line, but, but, but doing it in a way, doing it in a team way. We're not going to win the game by one guy just playing great. We need everybody to focus in. And we talked about that just now. We need everybody, all 12 guys, to be ready to go and to play. And if you play one minute, or you play 22 minutes, it does not matter. You gotta play as hard as you can and be focused. Did you hear the kids saying we want to? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not helping us at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> what, about, what about tonight? You, you were very effective on the inside. Uh, do you, can you sustain that against a team like Duke with, with Evans and Brown? And maybe Brown? Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna have to attack them there. You wouldn't try to, you know, you can't play on just on the perimeter against them because they guard so well. So, so you're going to have to attack the pass. You have to use your quickness, and, and you're going to have to go after rebounds with two hands and, and uh, attack the pass. Ladder grade? Huh? Ladder grade. Probably still like a C, C plus. C plus. Do you have, do you think that with the depth, do you have the athleticism that maybe can challenge Duke a little bit? Well, 
we'll see that on Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. But I know Duke's very athletic. You know, they, they're probably down to 12 McDonald's All-Americans. <laughs> uh, but they're all talented kids, and, and you know, we just got to go and compete with them. Norm, during your first five seasons, I mean, there have been a lot of bumpy, there's been a lot of bumpiness to the road. I mean, how do you feel about, like, suddenly here's this game that seems like a real opportunity to sort of gain major national attention? Uh, I, I think it's fun. I think our guys should, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for our guys that they're going to have this opportunity in front of them. And uh, no matter what happens on Saturday, we're going to learn from that opportunity. Uh, hopefully it's a win, and we learn from a win. And, and, uh, but it's a great opportunity because you don't, you don't get this you know, in your careers a lot. So being 6-0 you know, and early in the year, national television, and stuff like that, and playing Duke, you know, a story program. So, you know, but, you know, St. John's has a lot of story tradition, too, and history, too. So, so Norm, how, how does your speech, your talk to them over the next couple of days, change from the other times you played here? Uh, I think we've got to have a much, a much better defensive mindset. We've got to defend. Forget about everything else. Don't let your men score. Score and rebound. Just rebound. Defend and rebound. Defend and rebound. Any other things will work itself out. You know, I think if you go in there thinking you're going to outscore them, you're going to get beat pretty bad. So you better go in there thinking you're going to guard them and don't let them get easy baskets and rebound the ball. That's what we got to try to do. What do you think this group has as a competitive edge over Duke that can pull out a win? I don't, I don't know if we have a competitive edge or anything like that. I, I, I know our team competes. I know they compete. And, and, um, and I know we got a lot of guys that are you know, pretty resilient. So, you know, But, you know, that's going to be unbelievable atmosphere. You know, be a fun atmosphere. It's the type of atmosphere every college basketball player wants to play in. This is your sixth team here. Mm -hmm. Is this the team best equipped for a game like Duke? Probably with depth and everything else. I'd like to have Mason too, but but uh, but yeah, probably as, as deep and as talented as we are here. Probably the best team we have since I've been here. At six and zero, do you find yourself with a swagger going into the game at Duke, like a confidence? Same as any other year. It's no swagger. Just go play. Anything else for coach guys? Ball up. Just ball up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>